Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to back up your Twinket BSD system and restore it again. There are multiple ways how to perform a backup. Today we are looking at the most common one. First we need to download the Twinket BSD installer image, which can be used to install a complete new Twinket BSD system, but which also includes a backup and restore environment. Therefore we go to the backup website, navigate to the download of Twinket BSD, and with a My Backup account we can download the ISO image file. If you don't have a My Backup account yet, you can register for free to get it. Next we need to extract the zip file so we have the ISO file on our system. Now we use Rufus, which is an open source tool to flash ISO image files and apply the ISO file to our USB flash drive. Make sure you don't have any important data left on this drive because it will be erased in the next step. There are also other free tools available to flash the file in case you prefer a different tool. After the file was successfully written to the USB flash drive, we can eject it, remove it from our Windows system and insert it into the Twinket BSD system. Switch on the Twinket BSD device and press F7 during boot up to get into the BIOS boot me medium selection menu. Select the USB flash drive with the arrow keys and press enter to continue booting. If you have a back of USB flash drive like me, you don't need to do the step because back of USB drives are detected and are first in the default boot order. Now you see the menu of the Twinket BSD installer stick. You can also use it to install a fresh Twinket BSD on your device. But we want to create a backup from our existing Twinket BSD system. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate up and down through the menu and select the backup entry by pressing enter. You are prompted to enter a name for your backup, which is already pre-filled with the host name of the device and date and time. Feel free to change it as you prefer. For now I just use the proposed name and press enter. Press enter again and then the backup will be written to the USB flash drive. This process may take some time depending on the size of your system and the speed of your USB drive. When you are finished you can shut down the system and remove the USB stick. Now insert the USB flash drive into your laptop and have a look with the file explorer to the content. You see a folder with the name of your backup. This folder contains the backup files of your system. There might be more than one file depending on the size of your backup. Because it is a FAT32 partition, the maximum single file size is 4GB. If your backup exceeds this value, it will be split into multiple chunks of 4GB. Just copy the whole folder to your laptop or wherever you might want to keep your updates. The backup is now available in case you need it for recovery. Now I just continue with a file which is already on the flash drive and will perform the restore back to the device. Therefore just eject the device in Windows and remove it from your laptop. Stick it into the device you want to recover. You can also use this process to clone machines in a serial production process. The boot process is the same as last time. If you have no back of flash drive, press F7 and select the USB drive in the selection menu. In the Twinket BSD installer menu, now select Restore. The menu will show you all available backups on the USB drive. In my case it is only one. Just press enter to select it. Now you need to choose the disk where the backup should be restored to. In most cases there is only one drive which you can select. Press enter again. There is a last warning if you are sure you want to restore to the selected disk because it will erase the whole disk. Select yes if you are sure and press enter. Depending on the size of your backup and the speed of your USB drive, this process might take some time. When it is finished you can now reboot the device. Remember to remove the USB stick if it is a backup stick, otherwise it will boot into the installer stick again. You have now restored the system and the system boots in the state when the backup was taken. If you need more information about the backup and restore possibilities of Twinket BSD, I recommend to look into the comprehensive documentation which covers a lot more than I can show in this short video. Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.